Okay, welcome back. Now what I want to look at is triangles. Okay, and I want to look at the various types of triangles. Now, we have a triangle is a three-sided figure. Okay, there are various types of triangles. Now we have equilateral triangles, we have isosceles triangles. And excuse my speech, um, I just had some teeth extracted the other day, so I do apologize for my sounding of my triangles. <coughs> excuse me. Right angled triangles. And we have what we call scalene triangles. Now, each of these will be explained as we proceed through each turn. Each, well, I should say each triangle. Okay. Now, what we're going to look at first is equilateral triangle. Okay. Now, equilateral triangle. All sides are equal and all the angles are equal. That means that the angles are 60. 60 degrees. Okay. Now the perpendicular line from the vertex corner to the base, cut to the base at 9 degrees into two equal parts. Now let's look at what they're talking about. The perpendicular line, that is your perpendicular line here, okay, comes down and it cuts this line here, intersects it. And where this vertex intersects, at the baseline, it forms two angles of 90 degrees. So that would be 90 degrees, that there would be 90 degrees. It would be any less. The total angle of each of these will therefore add up to 180 degrees. Okay? And that's 90, and that is 30 degrees now. That's 160, 70, 80. That will give you 180 degrees as your per, as per triangle. So rather than having one triangle now, you've now got two. You've got one, two triangles in one. Simply by that line, perpendicular, cutting that angle into, cutting that triangle into two triangles. Okay. And all they're doing here is showing you that, that this is your perpendicular. Okay. Now. This simply shows here that the sides are of equal length. Now. Isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Two sides of the triangle are equal and the two base angles are equal. The perpendicular bisector cuts the base at 90 degrees into two equal parts and bisects the vertex angle. Okay. So the vertex is an angle formed by two intersecting lines. So here you have your intersecting line here, okay, that intersects at the baseline there, which forms two angles here. We know that these two angles here should be the same value, okay. And looking back, you can then see, let's go back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And all this is showing you is just whether you turn it upside down from looking at it from direct different base point of views. Okay. Now right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. A right angle triangle has one of its angles equal to 90 degrees. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse and is the longest side. 
So let's have a look. The, a right angle triangle has one of its angles equal 90 degrees. That is on 90 degrees here. Okay, that's on 90 degrees there. Okay. 90 degrees. No doubt about it there. Okay. This here, it becomes our hypotenuse because that is the longest side. Okay, and it doesn't matter how you rotate it, turn it around, twist it about, it will still be the hypotenuse. I mean, the hypotenuse, that's, that's a peculiar word, isn't it? I mean, I have actually thought about it before, until now, but who created the word hypotenuse? Quite possibly could be a Latin term, but I will look into it when I have more time. But for now, it will do. Right, scalene triangle. Scalene triangle. The sides in a scalene triangle are all different in length. Different length, different length, different length. The angle here. Remembering that a straight line is always at 180 degrees. Imagine that you have taken that line there along this, along all the way along here. You would then be looking at the angle between that and that. So if you, you know the angle here, you can you will be able to determine the angle that is here. The angle of four are all different in value. So let's look at the rules. Rules regarding triangles. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180, 180 degrees. So A plus B plus C equals 180. And here we have A, B, C equals 180. Ignore my scribbling work there. Okay. Example. Find A. A equals 180 minus 120 minus 40 equals 20 de degrees and it's equal 20 de de degrees because 40 plus 20 equals 60 60 plus 120 equals 180 degrees okay so that is important to bear in mind and to rem remember that okay Example two, find B, 180 minus 10 minus 35 equals 135 degrees. Now is that right? 135. 35 plus 35, 160, 170, 180. Okay, we know that it is correct. Okay. So if that is one, if that, that is one, three, five, That's now added to, to that, 135 plus 35, 170, 180, okay? So you're adding these to, to, together, and it equals to 180 degrees. Okay. 
Find C and D. Example three. Okay. Now find C and D. Well, we know the angle should be 180 degrees, yes? And let's look at the angles that we have. Now, this tells us something here. This tells us something here. The both triangle is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, C equals 70. Base angles of isosceles triangles are equal. So we know that that's the base angles. 70 and that must be equal equal to 70 okay Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I was just trying to look at see if I can take something out here, but I can't. Okay. Now ignore my rough work. This is just ignore that. Okay, ignore that completely. Right. That is equal to seventeen. We know base angles are equal. It's in in the isosceles triangle. Okay. So we know that is going to be seventy. Okay. Therefore, if we have 70, 70, we have 140. Therefore, the, this angle here must therefore be 40 degrees. Because that, they added up to 180. 70, 70 is 140. 140 plus 140. 140 plus 40 is 180 degrees, okay? Therefore, that is 180 degrees. Okay, okay. Quite simple for you to work for. Find E, F, and X. Now, interesting. This is an isosceles triangle again. So we know that that's going to be equal. That is going to be equal. Okay. All right. This is an isosceles triangle. Now x equals 15 degrees. Okay. So we know because x equals 15 degrees. So x equals 15 degrees because they're saying that this this angle here, all the way across to here, is 30 degrees. Okay. That's what they're saying. So which is the vertex angle angle created by an intersecting line so e and f are equal e and f are, are equal so e and f are equal e and f together add up to 180 You have to get it add up to 180 minus 30 equals 150. Now remember, of 30 is here. Okay. We know this that it that is the total angle of any triangle. We have this here. Okay. We have that there. So 
180 minus 30 equals 150. We know that E and F are equal. Therefore, E equals 150 divided by 2 equals 75. Therefore, E equals 75 degrees and F equals 75 degrees. Okay, so let's put it in. That's now equal to 75. Degrees, okay. That's now equal to 75. Degrees, okay. Okay. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So here we are saying that X plus y equals z <coughs> if you forget this rule you can always work out the problem in two stages as shown, shown below find x X is 80 degrees. Right. X is eight, eight, equal 80 degrees, therefore Z will be 80 degrees as well. These two angles are equal. Okay, so X will be 80 degrees, let's put it into place, okay. Okay, and Z will be 18 degrees as well. Angle in the front will add up to 180. Uh, okay.
x is 18 degrees. It's on straight line, 180. No, if I lift it at 180 degrees, if that's lifting at the angle is 18 degrees, angle it should be the same, 18 degrees. No, it's not saying that there's the same, that is 100 degrees. Dead, 180. Uh, 180 minus 80. Now remember that straight line is one at always at 180 degrees. So if this angle here is 80, 80 degrees and that angle is 80 degrees there, if that angle is 80 degrees, then we are looking at because this is a straight line, we now know that this should, should be equal. So if we take 80 degrees from 180 that will leave us 100 so this angle here is should be is 100 degrees okay okay and that's what we do okay. it's, a, it's it's a subtraction here for z rather than an addition. Here it's, it's an addition because we need to make this up to 180. Here we know that, that should be equal to this. Therefore if that's 80 degrees, that's going to leave us 100. Z would be equal to 100 degrees. Now this one here, I'm going to leave out a bit a bit peculiar why why didn't i make this it's okay i'm just trying to figure out what um what i did here Solve this you can either draw in more parallel lines, draw in right angles or make triangles. The last method is the one which is shown below. Okay, so what you're looking at here is um, this here was just left as for, for us to do ourselves basically. Okay, okay, you are just left for you all to do it to do yourself. Okay, but the the clarity of the work is here. To solve this, you can either draw in more parallel lines, draw in right angles, or make triangles. The last method is the one which is shown below. So this is the method we're going to use here. Okay. And what we're looking at here is x finding x. Now where is x on here? X is here. Okay. And x is here. Okay. That is our x. Okay. We know this triangle should add up to 180, therefore it's 180 minus 40 minus 50, x equals 90. Okay. 
we got that in place find y and z okay y now these three angles they should be equal so the value of this here should match the value of this now so therefore if it's again here you can do 180 minus 100, 115 which leave you 65 therefore the angle there should also be 65 So if that angle that that should be sixty-five. Okay. Degrees, okay. And that is sixty-five. Okay, I'm gonna second down. As you know, the opposite angle is right on. Therefore, z equals. Sorry, um, am I? Oh, z equals. Oh, z equals 100. Well. 60 plus 60 is 120 129 if i'm looking for z so we know that's 65 that's 64 so 180 minus 165 minus 64 and 29 equals 51 degrees and we got our z here which equals 51 degrees that's quite correct that is equal to that okay. now let me just go on a little bit Now, find the missing angles given reasons. Well, 180 equals 18 degrees. Yes, it does. That's right. But remember, these are things for you to write out yourselves. You need to be able to draw the diagrams, the triangles. Look at what you're doing. Get familiar with different types of tri triangles. Know which ones you're dealing with. Okay. This is this is paramount for you to understand and to know that. Okay. Now here, all I'm doing again is finding the angle. You know it should be 180. So, what's this angle here? Angle B is 138, roughly, basically. Well, it is, isn't it? Okay, this will be in this case, it'll be 180. Minus 15. Minus 27. Equals 20, 30. 20, 30, 42, because so we come to 180 minus 42. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but it's trying to be every time I do this. So B is going to be equal to 138 degrees. One, three, eight degrees. Okay, and there we are. Okay, 
Alright, the rest is for you to do. I am not going to do the ending further on this. Thank you. I hope you found this useful. I apologize for my scribbles and my mess. It's just the way that I did some work, rough work on it, and um, I decided to leave the rough work in, okay? Um, uh, whether that's right or not, I don't know. I've left it in, so you can see that I too can make mistakes as well, okay? So don't feel any way about that. Okay, again, we're simply doing the same thing here, same application of, of principles. You have no problem finding these, it should be easy enough for you to do. And again, we've just done something similar up, up on the previous page before, so look at it to make sure you understand it. Okay. Okay, this one is brilliant, it shows showing you now in detail what you need to be doing to find Q okay so Q should equal to 180 because you have one two three angles here still the same but you got 45 56 70 so your angle here of course Q is 110 Okay, yes, the angle here is 110, okay? Uh, we've got that there, yeah? It was just Q here. Okay. Now, I'm not doing anything more for you. You can do the rest yourselves, okay? Take your time. Write the work out. Look at it step by step, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Well, I hope you found this useful. And um, again, this is to do with triangles, okay? And we are going to go back to this now. And thank you for your time. Have a good day. And uh, till next time. Bye-bye.